AITA for telling my daughter-in-law she is never welcome at my home again? I. 44F. Have a 23-year-old biological son as well as three foster children, two boys. 9 and 17. And one girl. 12. I have been a foster parent since my son was 4. I am a social worker as well. He has gone through life understanding the system and the horrors these kids face. The three that I have right now I am planning to adopt. I love them as my own. The last two Christmas I have not had my biological son, Tyler, home. He has spent them with his girlfriend and wife now of eight months family. I have always respected it. She is much less independent than Tyler and her family suffered the loss of a grandfather so they wanted her there for the holidays. This Christmas Tyler has been telling me that him and Sonia, my Dill, will spend Christmas with our family. Well the day before yesterday Tyler told me he feels like he owes a debt to Sonia's family for the extravagant wedding gift they gave them and he felt pressured to spend another holiday with them. I didn't believe him. I know when my son is lying. After pressing for about 15 minutes he revealed to me that Sonia felt uncomfortable spending Christmas at our home because it did not feel genuine. She says that my foster children are not real family so it takes away from the spirit of the holiday. I would never let anyone be so disrespectful to Tyler so why would I let this fly with my other children? I told him fine but if she don't feel comfortable at Christmas then I don't ever feel comfortable with her around my kids. And she cannot step foot in this house again. I have always treated her with kindness and respect. I love her because she loves my son and he loves her. But I will not let anyone exclude my children. My husband believes I am going to cause a wedge between us and our son. But right now I am so so disappointed in him. This is not who I raised him to be maybe a wedge is needed for him to come to his senses. So Reddit am I the asshole? TLDR. My Dill doesn't consider my family genuine because I have foster children so she and my son will be spending the third Christmas in a row with her family. I told my son she is no longer welcome at my home. Good lord. NTA. You aren't creating the wedge. She did that. Wow. Also. If she thinks taking in needy children is somehow taking away from the spirit of Christmas. She needs to go back to Sunday school. She obviously missed a few weeks. Just wow. NTA. Your duty is to your children and only your children. Someone who holds any malice for them intentional or not, does not get access to them. He should be offended, too. But that's his fight to have. NTA, your son and Dill seem to have missed the whole point of Christmas while you live it every day. By being a foster mom. I was adopted. My mom eviscerated many people over the span of her life for even suggesting I was anything less then her child. I've never forgotten those moments. I felt unconditional love and safety in those times as she shot lasers from her eyes and flailed. Her mommy pointer finger wildly around at them. You're an incredible parent. Protect your kids. I hope your son figures his life out quickly before there's any damage. NTA. In today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, that's fucked up eyes. Op is a goat for standing up to her dill. NTA. If your son had been adopted instead of biologically yours, would she still say it wasn't genuine? I was totally prepared to respond differently. But after reading it, you are NTA. How hurt your younger children would be if they were to hear her say such a thing in front of them. I wouldn't allow her in either. NTA. She could seriously hurt your kids. It's good that you're not allowing that. I agree that he might need this wedge. 
my foster children are not real family so it takes away from the spirit of the holiday. WTF is that? If anything this makes the holiday spirit even more so. Is this their first Christmas with you? NTA. NTA. I have four brothers. One biological and three that came into our family through the foster care system. My family has never made a difference between any of us. I have never been as mad I was the one time a social worker came to my home and told me my siblings were not my real siblings. I changed their diapers. I taught them to speak stupid sentences very clearly at a young age. I crawled on the floor to encourage each of them to start doing so on their own. I comforted each of them when they called me crying about their first heartbreaks. No one can tell you who belongs to your family. It's not up to anyone else. Blood is not the definition of family. NTA and I would honestly have a long talk with your son without her around letting him know how disappointed you are that he has chosen to stay with someone like that and ask him if he agrees and sees your soon-to-be adopted children as lesser family as well because if he does, then he probably needs to not be around those kids either because his feelings would show at some point and hurt them. NTA. I was adopted. And I would hope that my parents and siblings would stand up to anyone who said that I wasn't a genuine part of my family. NTA but by banning her. Have you given her what she wants? To never come to your house? Also, don't forget. This might just be your son's first wife. Keep the door open with him. NTA by your son going only with his wife's beliefs. Does that mean you will never see him for another Christmas? You said you were adopting your younger children. Does this mean that Sonia will say you have a fake family every Christmas? Does your son even realize that by allowing her beliefs to fly and going along with them that he is setting himself up to not see his family? Is he okay with living like that for the rest of his life? It's worth another conversation with him just to ask if he has really thought this through because beyond just Christmas 2021, this is his life and it sounds like he is close to his siblings. NTA, your quiet advocacy for the children in your care is a testament to your character. NTA, your dill has some weird ideas about the meaning of Christmas. I can't think of anything more in line with the true spirit of Christmas than including your chosen family as well as your family by blood. And having the gall to say a family is not genuine, because some of the members are adopted is really cruel as well as really stupid. I guess since she's only part of your family because she signed a piece of paper with your son. That means she's not a genuine relative either. Having said that. I do think you may have overdone it by going nuclear and it may have some unfortunate consequences. In the future, your son is also the awe for enabling your DIL's behavior and siding with her when he knows full. Well she's wrong and to what horrible extent she's wrong. NTA. I can't even fathom her lack of empathy and understanding. Why would he marry someone that wouldn't accept his siblings? foster or not. That's his family. I do think you should consider how this impacts your future relationship with your son. You may want to cool off for a bit. Then have another conversation with him. NTA I hope your son is reconsidering the wisdom of his choices, mainly marrying this street for brains. Who boy was I prepared to blast you from the title? But no. NTA. However, you're not thinking tactically. Because banning her is giving her exactly what she probably wants. IDK what the actual, smart, answer is. By the way, I wish I did. Your kids don't deserve that. NTA. Why is your son allowing his wife be so disrespect to his family? Biological. 
faster or otherwise if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe